Welcome to part two of the top five Fire Stick applications that I think you should be installing on your device today. Now, if you didn't see part one, I will leave a link in the video description and also the pinned comment. Now, part one covered the month of March and this episode is for the month of April. And these are basically some of the best applications I've come across. Now, all of them are 100% free. They work with the standard remote control and I'm hoping that you'll like at least some of them. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so the first application in the list is called Task Manager. Now, what this application does allows you to quickly see all of your background running tasks or processes on your device and with a single click you can then terminate those tasks so as we know especially on the fire stick which doesn't have much memory we are regularly trying to close off these background applications because the more things you have running in the background the less free memory that you have available and the less free memory that you have available the greater chance you have of getting buffering so is there something that i always advise that before you do start your movie session or your film night just go ahead and close off all of your background running tasks now previously people would have to go to the background apps and process list see the stuff running in there then individually close those off but if i back out of this and go into the task manager and here we can see straight away that we have seven things running in the background and if you have a look at the top we can see in the system tools x-ray we currently have 148 megabytes of free memory which really is not that much at all so i can now use the standard mouse i don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle i can click on kill selected and we can see with one click we now have nearly 270 megs of free memory so very very easy to use works with the standard remote control and within one click you can close off all of those pesky background applications now just one point on this um, i did actually mention this on a previous video uh, this application and there were a couple of comments from people who were saying that they weren't really sure if these applications were permanently being closed off. Well, I can confirm right now, guys, this is not permanently closing off any application because all the application is doing is stopping something that was currently running. And we know that part works because we get that free memory back. But in reality, there's nothing stopping those applications from starting up again. So you do have to kind of like bear that in mind when you are doing it. But the way I see it is as long as you get that free memory back, that should definitely improve the performance of your device. So that's the first application in today's list, which is Task Manager. The next application we have in the list is actually Twitch. Now, before you tell me like, oh, you're not really a gamer, or you're not really a fan of watching people play games. There's actually some really, really interesting content on here. And and if you do like gaming, I know some of the other YouTubers like uh, Doc Swiffy, uh, Free Tech, uh, Lee TV and uh, Stu's Tech Time. Those guys do frequently stream on Twitch. So this could be a good way of you supporting them. But when you start the application, this is what you'll see. So you get to see some of the most uh, popular or most watched content at the moment. We can see, for example, Counter-Strike has nearly 250,000 viewers. And we have some of the other sort of popular games here. Let's go down. And here's some of the cool stuff, guys. So we can see, for example, they've got like, you know, chess. So if you are interested in chess, you can actually watch people from around the world playing in these chess competitions. Uh, let's scroll down and we've got GeoGuessr. So this is actually a great game that you can play in a browser where it uses Google Photos to show you a random place around the world. And you have to guess where that place is. So let's just click on that. And let's just try this one here. So you can see like this is basically a random place on earth and this photo is from google photos and so he's basically looking at that sign they're trying to work out where that could be in the world so when you think you know where it is you then click on the map like he's placing his pin on what was that finland and then depending on how far it was compared to where you place the pin determines how many points you get so it is actually quite interesting and let's back out of that you also have um, a section for retro content so if you're interested in some you know the classic arcade games some of those 8-bit or 16-bit games let's click on retro gaming and we can see they've got some some guy playing uh, ninja gaiden let's click on that some really good stuff on here guys just lots of different content and we can just see guys there's so much content i mean like even uno so that classic sort of card game um you can watch people playing that so definitely guys lots of content in here lots of variety and you know especially during the you know lockdown or isolation if you are looking for something uh, a bit different or a bit out there, I think Twitch is definitely worth checking out. So that's the second application in today's list. Next up, we have an application or a game called Worms. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the whole point of this is that we can enjoy all of these applications or games 
on the Fire Stick. We shouldn't need to use any kind of mouse toggle or anything like that. Everything should be done with the standard remote control. And just like this game, we can actually enjoy all of it with the standard remote control. We can ignore this error message, click on OK. And we can now click on Battle. So, and here we are, guys. We're now enjoying this Worms game with the standard remote control. I mean, everyone must know this game. Uh, you're basically this snake here, or worm. And you need to get bigger by eating all this uh, delicious looking food. If you want to speed up, you can do that by pressing the select button. But that does actually make you shrink a bit, so you can't just keep doing that all the time. Uh, so get bigger and bigger by eating all these uh, snacks or food. Now, if you do touch another snake, then you will die straight away. But if somebody touches you, then they basically die. And then you get to have all of the food that they previously consumed. So that's actually the best way to get big on here is um, either trap a snake or let somebody else trap a snake and you can eat all of the food that it sort of spits out. But guys, I mean, this is working with the standard remote control. Uh, graphics are nice. Maybe if you have kids that want to play, maybe kids are bored or something, you can definitely pass some time on this. And of course, on the top left, you see a leaderboard and that's all determined by your uh, current length. So we can see TD UK is currently 123, which is not too bad, maybe not the best, but... <laughs> So that's that. Um, next up, we have an application called TuneIn Radio. So once again, guys, during the times of isolation, during the times of you know being stuck at home, wouldn't it be great if we could listen to radio stations from all over the world, all 100% free, and of course, navigate around with the standard remote control. So when you start the application, this is what you'll see. So either you can see the popular stations in your area, or you can scroll down, or you can search through different genres of categories. So for example, here you have music, you have sports, news, and my favorite section, guys, is actually the podcast section. So let's click on that. And there we have it, guys. We now have access to all of these podcasts from all over the world that we can start enjoying pretty much straight away and all with just one click. So let's say, for example, we want to watch this one here. I click on that. I click on play. And within five, well, actually, well instantly, that starts playing directly on my TV. So... Yeah, but that's working. Right, let's pause that quickly. Let's back out of that. So lots of content in here, guys. I'm sure there'll be something in here that you'll enjoy. And the last thing you can do in this application is if you go to the top here, you have a browse section. So here we can see things like local radio, music, sports, news, uh, podcasts, talk, recent. Then you also have trending and you also have by location. So let's look at trending. And here we can see some of the trending stuff that's happening right now. So definitely, guys, without a doubt, you will definitely find something in here to enjoy and listen to. In fact, do leave me a comment below and let me know what stuff you did find in this application that you enjoyed listening to. The last application in today's list is called the Dangbi or the Dangbei TV Assistant. Now, this has three benefits. Benefit number one is it has an uninstall feature, so I can click on that. And right now I get a good bird's eye or overall view of exactly what's installed on my device and exactly how much space it's taking. So if I scroll down, I can see, for example, air screens taking up 45 megs of space. Um, Plex is taking up 36 meg and so on and so forth. So and let's say I don't want to play this game anymore. I can just click on uninstall, click on OK. And we can see within one click, we've now directly uninstalled the application. So. That really is a great feature of this application that from a single view, you can see exactly what's installed on your device and see how much space it's taking. And that way you can then target the big hitters or the applications that are taking up most space. So that's the first benefit of using this application. The second benefit is of course, the fact that we can use all of it without using any kind of mouse toggle. So I think pretty much all of the other cleaners I've tried in the past, all of them did require you to use the mouse toggle. And the last benefit is the application will allow you to remove junk files on your system. Now junk files can be anything from you know old log files. When you uninstall an application, it may leave some residual files across your file system. There may be some crash logs, basically files that you don't really need, but they're still taking up valuable space on your device. Now to remove them, if you click on start, and let's see what this can find. So I'm hoping this does give you a nice summary of the things it's going to remove. And we can see on my device, it removed about 400 megs of those junk files. Now, depending on how long you've had your device, if you've ever done a factory reset or not, and also the frequency that you're actually installing and uninstalled applications, 
that will determine how much free space this will actually give back. But it's definitely worth checking out. It's absolutely free. It works with a standard remote control. And that's the last application in today's list. So the other five applications there, guys, let me now show you exactly how you can install them on your device. Okay, so to install any of these applications or all five of them, if you just go over to Downloader, and we're going to make a connection to my website, which is http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk, that's me, and the number is 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you want to go over to the hamburger menu. And in there, you'll see there's a section called tutorials. And the first tutorial in the list will be the top five Fire Stick applications for the month of April. So let's open that up. Let's scroll down. And here we can see we have the applications here. So here is a task manager, uh, some features about here, and then a download link. Here is Twitch. Actually, for Twitch, you can actually download that directly from the Amazon App Store anyway. Let's scroll down. Then you've got Worms with a direct download link and so on and so forth. So let's say, for example, we want to install the task manager. Let's scroll down. Let's click on this uh, download here button. Let's give that a second. And guys, if you are enjoying this kind of content, then please do take a minute to hit that like button and also think about subscribing because that really is the best way to help out my channel. Thank you. Okay, let's scroll down. And we can see we now have a green download button. So I can click on that and I should then download the application directly onto my device. And that's now all ready to go. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then do hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. I really do hope you guys are staying in and staying safe. Do let me know what you think about this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Oh, thanks.